It's not easy finding wallets that meet a high IP rating, and we'll talk about what that means in a minute. Something that can keep your cards and cash safe in dusty, inhospitable environments. And so today, we have the Pelican 5 RF Field Wallet. You're trying to sell something you shouldn't have to someone who shouldn't be buying it. Here we go. This is the G5 RF Field Wallet. It's a slim wallet, comes in this retail packaging. And because it has this uh, uh, strap on the back, it's able to hold it and we can move that aside. This is silver, but it also comes in black as an exterior. You can see we have an opening here. We've got a nice wristlet here and we open up and here's kind of what we're looking at. And there is a bit going on here that we haven't quite talked about, but we will. So let's talk about it. We have one external wrist strap for here, one external st uh, rubber strap right here for quick access items. You can put cash cards or anything really, honestly. If we open this up and we have a nice little latch uh, that opens that up, we can see it's a kind of a clamshell environment. And what we've got here are two interior slots. Both can be used for cards, cash, or anything else not too thick to sit inside of this wallet. The wallet is waterproof, crush proof, and hacker proof, they say, and that's really due to the natural RFID protection because of the aluminum. The gasketed O-rings around here and the snap latch right here, you can notice it doesn't go in all the way until you snap that close, guarantees a watertight seal. Thus, it has an IP rating of 67. This wallet measures five by three by 0.8, and it weighs 147 grams or five ounces. So what is an IP rating or IP code? Well, it classifies the degree of protection provided by an enclosure, in this case, this wallet. The standard defines levels of sealing against, and its effectiveness against ingress, meaning what could get into the wall. You know, foreign bodies, uh, dust, dirt, liquid. The first digit is intrusion for non-liquid things like small objects, dust, dirt. Rating zero means no protection. Six means that you have total dust proof protection. The second digit is for moisture, for liquids. The rating of zero means no protection against liquids with nine. So we have six being highest, nine being highest for liquids. But once you've reached a seven in anything other than specialized commercial equipment, the requirements, uh, you know, we've already met waterproof. And so the product can be submerged up to one meter, that's six feet, for up to 30 minutes without intrusion. So what is this rated? This is rated a six, seven. Six cards, four strips of cash or slips or strips or notes, and I threw a key in there just for fun. Company makes no recommendation on cards, cash, or anything else. As long as it fits in the box, you're good to go. This is designed in the United States and it's made in China. It's aircraft made or aircraft grade aluminum shell, stainless steel hinges in the pins, and this interior right here, let's pull them out from this side. This is an elastom elastomeric strap and mesh organizer. Uh, it has a little bit of a flex to it. We'll talk about that. This uh, has a lifetime guarantee on it, as you would expect from all of Pelican's products. They make wonderful products in that regard. This particular wallet is priced for $52. Now, the latch provides enough face to open it up easily without creating difficulty, meaning if you have gloves, as long as you can get your thumb right here, and it has a pretty good little tooth there, you can grab and snap it open that way the elastomeric strap and mesh organizer. Uh, they're both slightly flexible here in the interior, but not really, and provide the maximum capacity you'll experience if you start uh, trying to load this up. It'll, it'll give a little bit, you can see right here, it gives somewhat. And then here on the top where I, they recommend the cards. You can see where it has this little lip where the cards can reside, and you can get as many in here as you think you can. I bet I could get probably another, oh, probably two or three cards without any issue. If you carry more cards, then just put them down here. And honestly, you'll know you've hit the max when you just can't comfortably close this. If you work in a hostile environment, this is a great wall, especially for the IP rating. So now onto the final score. For quality of five, price of three. I think it's okay. Features of three, usability of four, and perception of five. Fantastic company. Uh, they've made uh, amazing, amazing containers for a long time. That gives us a great score of 4.2 out of five. If you wanted to see how its MagSafe brother operates, well, look at this video over here, and we'll see you in the next review. Bye.